Alright, so something a bit different today. We're down in the old cellar of the house and as you can see the previous owner was a real keen uh, winemaker and we've got absolutely stacks of old uh, wines here from the 80s, from the 90s, sort of damson wines and uh, apple wine, lots of kind of gooseberry wines, everything and a lot of those uh, fruits came from the garden because we've got those trees and those bushes still. Um, but for now we're going to make our own rather than sampling those and we're going to make some slow gin. Now slow gin is a really easy drink to make and readily available um, fruit to find this time of year out in the countryside. So first we need our slow berries and slow berries are just the fruit off a blackthorn bush or blackthorn tree. Really easy to find, they, they look like a small damson, a small kind of wild plum almost and we can find them in most of the hedgerows. October, November time, really easy to find. So we've got a couple of pounds of those and one of the things that you'll read up about and you'll find is that it's very important that you prepare these before we put them into the, the drink. And you do that either by poking them with a needle, just by pricking them, and that's just gonna allow the, them to kind of macerate and, that, and the gin will get into them and the juices will come out. Um, and the purists would say you have to use a silver needle that's kind of the tradition apparently. However, uh, we're going to use a simpler method, which is just popping them onto a tray, sticking them into the freezer, and that will just kind of rupture the skins of them. And just by putting them into the freezer for a few hours or overnight, we get exactly the same effect. So we've got our um, thawed out slows and they're ready for us um, to use now. So as far as quantities go, we're going to make up uh, two litres worth um, today, or using two litres of gin and for two litres of gin we need two pounds of slow berries and although that's imperial and metric it's a really easy way of remembering what you need so a pound of slow berries and a litre of gin and then all i need is my sugar and that's going to be half the weight of the slows so we in total today we're going to be using a pound of sugar and that's going to kind of get the sweetness there because it's quite a sweet drink anyway so first of all we need to get our bottles and as you can see, we've got lots of these old demijohn type um, distilling sort of wine making bottles and a lot of them are still in use and a lot of them are really old and dusty. So I've taken up a couple, given them a really good clean and sterilised them just with boiling water. And we'll go and get those now, bring them down and then we can make a start making the drink. Okay, so we've got our glass jars here. You can use anything for this really, jam jar, bottles, Anything with a lid that's sealed and you can sterilise is fine. Still waiting for the bungs for these actually. So we'll seal this overnight, give it a good shake, and then hopefully they'll be arriving in the post tomorrow and we'll get that sealed up. So first thing first, you need to get your slows into the jar. No easy way of doing this really. Um, simply using a jug is uh, probably the easiest way. Unless your slows are small enough that you can pop them in a funnel, that'd be quite handy. So we'll pop these in first. And as these have gone into the freezer, they've started to break up, which is no problem really for the, for the drink. It's a little bit messier on your hands. So obviously we'll give this a good clean up, uh, this lid, and uh, we'll do that when, when we seal it, when we get the bungs. So the next thing you want to do is get your sugar in there, and uh, that's easier done with a funnel. Struggling on no height here in the cellar. So, got a little retro uh, scales here. Uh, we'll just use the same jug, I think. There we go. Now, caster sugar is going to be the best thing for this, really, because it's going to be that much smaller and that will break down much quicker as the, the alcohol and the gin dissolves out. So, I'm going to do this a bit lower because we're struggling on ceiling height here. So, funnel's the easiest thing for the sugar. We'll pop that in. There we go. So that's our berries and sugar in, and then a litre of gin. So that's our first one made. So it's pretty simple, it's just a few minutes and everything's in there now. 
and all we need to do is get the uh, the bung in here give it a good stir up a couple of times a day keep it in like a dark cool place just don't let the sunlight get to it or anything like that and you'll start to see that sugar uh, dissolving into the drink so give it a couple of uh, shakes each day for the first few weeks after that all you need to do is just get out of the cupboard every now and then once or twice a week even give it a little tip back and forwards and what you'll see is all the sugar will disappear you'll end up with a nice crystal clear uh, liquor and, and it will basically take on this really nice dark um, purple colour of the slows and then all we want to do is just take that in a couple of months time we'll pass it through a sieve and then through a bit of muslin just to get a really nice clear finished uh, drink so we'll make up the second bottle get them labelled up and uh, get them in the cupboard up in the kitchen so I don't have to come down here each day and for the first few weeks we'll, we'll keep them up there and then they'll come down here sit on the shelf and hopefully be ready for Christmas.